materials you'll need to do this project. A hammer drill, heavy duty eye bolts, some JB Weld Quick Weld, quick setting steel reinforced epoxy, and you're going to need a masonry drill bit. Now there's an obvious difference between a masonry bit and a steel or wood bit. This is a standard steel or wood bit and this is a masonry bit. You can generally tell a masonry bit is they have this fluted spiral and they also have little wings. You can see that. Typical of a masonry bit. Now if you try to use one of these bits on masonry it'll last all of about 15 seconds before you just destroy the tip and dull it. So don't use these. This is the area that my emergency generator is going to live and here we have the box to plug it into house power. And I'll be sinking these eye bolts into the concrete so I can run this heavy duty stainless steel cable through the eye bolts and through my generator and lock it down to the cement. In the event of a hurricane, people won't be tempted to walk off with it. Okay, basically. I'm just going to use an arbitrary measurement of the distance of this eye bolt. That'll give me room to move my generator up to here and get the cable around it and through. Okay, here it goes. Now this particular hammer drill I picked up at Harbor Freight Tools a long time ago. And I just needed it for one project, but the darn thing worked so well that I just kept it around. It's taken a beating and it just keeps going. But every now and then, I got to use my key and tighten up the chuck. But I'm not going to complain. I got more than my money's worth out of this one. Uh, that's about 40% down. I'm going to go down past the threads as far as I can to make it really hard to pull out of the con concrete.
Now, we need to get the powder out of this hole. You can do it with a, a pump, uh, like a pump that you use to pump up an air mattress or a kite for that matter, a rubber raft. Uh, some people have those. If not, a uh, vacuum cleaner will do fine. As long as you get the powdery substance out from drilling, because that'll make a barrier between the object that you're gluing in place and the bolt that you're gluing. If you have any material on that at all, you might as well just put oil on it before you set your glue. It's not going to it's not going to stick to it. So get the hole as clean as possible. Okay, this is an electric kite pump. I have a hand pump, a small one, but I can't find it. So I am going to use this with the narrow nozzle. All right, this is the stuff that we'll be using. And I got myself a piece of uh, disposable wood here. I'm gonna squirt this onto it. It's two parts. First, I'm gonna sweep off around here. So when I'm dabbing it into the hole, I'm not dragging in a bunch of fresh dirt. mixing stick comes in the package and the reusable cap you just twist it and pop it off put the appropriate amount on that you think you're going to use okay mix these up until they turn gray. Now it's important to get equal amounts of both being epoxy based. Generally that's critical. Okay as you can see it's pretty gray except for that portion there which I don't really care about. Now I'm going to spoon it into the hole. And I think I mixed up enough to do both sides. Screw this one in and see how much comes out. Okay, I'm popping some air bubbles there, so now if nothing works its way up those threads to the top, then I gotta spoon some more in. require more
Now, when you're done, you see that there's a little black liquid on the end of that nub. You got to put that in there. Like that, and then just lock it, and that'll save it for next time. All right, now the only thing to do is just wait for this to set up. And it says uh, four to six hours, which uh, will give me plenty of time as uh, the hurricane won't be here for uh, probably two more days. Okay, as you can see, I've got the generator out here. It's cabled down to my new solid anchors. They cured so solid, they're never coming up. And I seriously doubt that this thing is ever going to grow legs and walk off on its own. So, uh, job well done.